from Kenyan churches under threat. Eh, wafisa wa polisi wanakuja eh, kuagalia watu wakihubiri. Tujenzi say not kindiki. Harisipavaisi vijana waki abdaktiwa, wengine wakiuriwa. Is the deputy president post irrelevant? Now with the impeachment of Rigathi Gashagwa, the post of deputy president has been watered down. Ten year old Clinton with a golden voice. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Derry. In Kiambu County, in Kenya, preachers and church goers are being harassed. Like even in church, there's no peace. Preachers and church goers are being asked like, what did you talk about? What did you preach about? Even to the point that even police officers are going to monitor churches and what they're talking about, even preaching. Just listen to some of the preachers from Kiambu County had to say about this. Hata wanakuja wanaketi kule nyuma watu ambao tuwajui na tukuwaumbia waweze kusema majina yao hawasemi. Baadaye wanatoka nje na kuanza ku, ku, kuuliza uliza washirika au watu ambao walikuwa wamekuja huku mlikuwa mmewaita kwa nini? Yaani tunasema kama sasa chief anapatikana akichukua nafasi kutaka kujua kanisa ilisomwa wa nini au wabunge pia wanataka kama wewe ni mbunge wa area ile watu wamekuja Unapiga simu unataka kujua pasta fulani alikuwa anazungumza nini kwa nini watu fulani walikuja kwa kanisa hii sasa inaonyesha ni kanisa ni kama mlango wa kanisa umefungwa na serikali wao ndio wataamuru watu watakaye kuja kanisani unapokuona e, wafisa wa polisi wanakuja e, kuagalia watu wakihubiri wala kile tunahubiri kifile kiko tunaona hiyo ni jabu ya kufinyiria watumisi kwa sababu kama sisi watumisi tunafunsa na tunahubiri na neno kuligana na ile neno Mungu aliweka ndani ya mtumisi. Hatuwekagi kuhubiri Kenya kimeandikwa mahali. Tumesema tunajuta sababu tunajiuliza ni kwa nini hatukufikiria ati baada ya kufanya vile tulifanya kutakuwa na mambo ya kutufuata nyuma kuona kama tulitenda dhambi. Sisi tunajua tunamweka pale rais wetu sababu pia yeye ni mtumishi wa Mungu na ni mmoja wa kanisa. Currently in Kenya all generations are awake. Generation zote. Everybody is speaking up against the corrupt government. Everybody is speaking up against the corrupt regime. Take a look at this video of a 10 year old Kenyan Gen Alpha called Clinton who raised his voice and spoke up. Just listen to this. Nataka kusema wewe mtu mwenye uko status. Ulifanya wa Kenya sana vibaya ukawapiga marisasi huko bunge. Walikanga nenda kutetea haki yao lakini wako wapiga mari ukatuma na mapolisi wapiga marisasi. Ruto utaanguka pamoja na Kindiki. Leo mendo kate kukasherekea mpaka nikakuona mnasherekea huko kwale. Kwambe utashukishwa kwa hiyo kiti. Right on time. At the state that murdered him. Anytime the state comes out to kill another young people, we will raise Rex Masai's flag higher. This Jacaranda ground sits just next to Kayole here. Kayole is the crime scene where the state, every time the states want to kill a young man, they come here in Kayole. And speaking of all generations, Take a look at this video of elders from the South Rift who are questioning the current government, the current regime about their leadership and many of them are speaking in pain. Just listen to this. <laughs> Go be 
so Kenyans, let us just be honest. In the coming elections in 2027, do you prefer uh, uh, voting for somebody who talks about God all the time? Somebody who, who praises the Lord all the time? Or do you prefer uh, voting for a drunkard? Take a look at what this Gen Z had to say about it. Njoni kuwanyasha Kenya Moreu alifanya. Moreu alieka rami mbaka konya kufai kuwa. Buni ambia ni hapa unuona gari gani hapa. Moreu alieka hii yote. Ye, yeah, wabili yake. Na si hii peke yake. Mbaka kachimba mbaka nenizi. Naitua drainage. Uyo ne Moreu. Mwenye 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 Moreu. Ye. Yeah? Acha sayo mwenye sema. Oh, gashago, 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 gashago. Hata mumutoe. Uyo, uyo mchungaji uyo. Hakuna maali ya tawapeleka. Eh, uyo mchungaji wenyo kuna maali ya tawapeleka. Eh, kabla mwana barabara kama hii Eldoret. Yenye itumiki. So the question is, will you choose a drunkard or a church gora? Tell us in the comments down below. And also, tell us why. Eh, uyo mchungaji wenyo kuna maali ya tawapeleka. Eh, kabla mwana barabara kama hii Eldoret. Yenye itumiki. Did you know that in Kenya we have the highest number of young people that is the Gen Z's and the Millennials and did you know that if they decide to vote today they can remove all the corrupt politicians they can remove everybody everybody in the government and put new leaders new faces new names just listen to this now with the impeachment of Rigathi Gashagua the post of deputy president has been watered down has been diluted, has become useless and irrelevant politically. There is no group of voters who intend to vote as a bloc who should negotiate for the post of deputy president. Gen Z's are 18.3 million, millennials are 12.1 million. So if they decide to vote as a bloc, they can easily have their own presidential candidate. But they should not negotiate for a deputy president post because if we have a deputy president who is Gen Z, they will be a deputy president for two hours and then they will be impeached and they will, be, uh, they will put whoever they want. Mount Kenya should also not negotiate ever in their lives negotiate for the post of deputy president. Kenya was better off when... Mount Kenya was in the opposition for 24 years and we had Kibaki and Matiba as the opposition at whichever times they were. And a lot was achieved at that time within those 24 years as opposition, getting multipartism, a new constitution, all those things happened during those 24 years when we had an effective opposition. As opposed to having a deputy president who position that is redundant that is not bringing us anything an effective and strong opposition is better than the post of a deputy president any day any day so it is high time for the young people of kenya to have their leaders why not we can have a young president young deputy president young mps young senators mcas you name it gen z's are eight 18.3 million millennials are 12.1 million so if they decide to vote as a block they can easily have their own presidential candidate in Eldoret town things were boiling nicely take a look at this video of these comrades who decided to inject and they injected without fear without fear of contradiction just listen to this Thank you. I'm clarifying something. It was a comment, so it's like one minute, okay? okay. Uh, thank you. Number one, you see these comrades are very angry, and they told you very early in the morning. So these people, they need facilitation and refreshments such that they get energy to inject and reject what they don't deserve. The second thing, the second thing is leadership. 
You see student leadership in UDA, they are taking puppets and then they, they brand them the leadership of comrades from all campuses only to users. We will not allow that one. Then on the other thing, you've had several comrades who are here are from Moe University. And Moe University, we have not learned for now like two months. And these people, I want them to use the same speed they use in impeaching the deputy president regarding Ashago to solve the issues of Moe University. We will not allow that one. We will not allow that one. Then on the last thing, the new funding model, Mr. Professor. You say you are in the presidential advisory team. The president, the, the president on the new funding model, can you tell these comrades that a student studying education who is going to earn 35 to 40,000 is going to have a, a, a whole, a whooping loan of up to half a million? Earning 30,000 and a loan of half a million, are you going to pay the fees? Are you even going to survive? Are you going to build a home for your family? Are you going to change your life? One night is time to reject this thing. We are not comfortable. Amazing, amazing. As you can see, this guy decided to inject. And let me tell you guys, like, it does not matter. It doesn't matter which politicians or political party you support. If you see wrong, don't uh, fear to inject. When you see wrong, say it is wrong. It's as simple as that. You see student leadership in UDA, they are taking puppets and then they, they brand them the leadership of comrades from all campuses only to users. We will not allow that one. As we all know, President William Ruto has endorsed and wants uh, Keture Kindiki to become the next deputy president after impeaching Regadi Gashagwa. But the Gen Zs, millennials and all Kenyans, Generation Zote, Gen Zote, people are not agreeing with the president. Nobody wants Kutero Kindiki to become the next deputy president. Just listen to what this Gen Z had to say about this. Tume, tume umia tena zaidi kwa sababu wa meappoint Kithure Kindiki ambaye ni ya request yes of interior security and supervise vijana waki abductiwa, wengine waki uriwa na the president hana guards za kumuappoint kama the next deputy president of Kenya. Uh, hatujafraia though we respect his decision kama kiongozi wa inchi, sisi kama vijana wanakuru hatujafraia na vijana wa inchi. The, in fact the president sasa amedhihirisha kwa mba he is the one term president. As you all know Kithure Kindiki was in charge when Gen Z's and millennials and Kenyans are being abducted and being killed. So why should he become the deputy president? Kithure Kindiki ambaye ni ya request yes of interior security and supervise vijana waki abductiwa, wengine waki uriwa na the president hana guards za kumuappoint kama the next deputy president of Kenya. I am shook. So I've just learned people developed an app overnight. <laughs> Imagine. App here. Do you not do what? To give updates. Kenya makara wako, kenya tia gas ziko, kenya auto na lipuliwa zaidi. Kama wakitoki, like unengi hapo unalongi, unongi na na wase, unawambia the safe areas, the safe place. Kenya mtapitia kama saizi, the app has said disipitia kwa lami. Ndeyo lami, tunapitia ukundaini. Even inside the neighbors, five eggs, the unity is crazy like the creativity pia mulifikiria kutengeneza app and it's working over <laughs> wow this is so nice this is so nice this is a revolution guys a revolution aided by technology i'm so happy to be a gen z thank you so much for joining us on today's show i'm your host elvis derry see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>